feedback in the process. Doing great. So, um, I don't know if any of you have seen Anita. She doesn't seem to be here tonight as always. Um, I, I don't know what the fuck is her problem. You know, she, she I'm just going to vent for a second here. It, it's, it gets kind of frustrating doing a show with her because she seems to have a problem with promise. You know, I mean, last week, or I mean, last month when she's running for president, she managed to get here on time. You know how well that went. I mean, Matt Brown got more votes than she did, and he was hopped up on bacon salt all month, so, you know, that seems to be an issue, so. Anyways, Anita's not here, and, um, you know, so I guess it's, uh, it's, it's my show. Um, you know, I'm, hear me out a second, I gotta rant a little more here. You know, like, it's my fault that she can't get to the show because her tires are slashed in front of her house, actually her left rear tire. Like, that's really my fault back in uh, April 15th, I think, was the show that that happened. Like, it's my fault that she finds herself tied up in the rendezvous basement with a 40-pound uh, nylon rope tied to double hatchet with a uh, official Casio O'Hara match game ball gag, which is available at the front counter, by the way. Just ask for an ass. That's like fourteen ninety five or something. But that's, like, that's really my fault. Okay? That's your fault? No, it's not my fault. And it really is starting to piss me off. Like, it's my fault that Child Protective Services gets an anonymous tip at 6 o'clock on a show night and she can't get here. Like, that's really my fault. So, anyways, so did you guys, what do you guys think of the election? Did your guy win? Woo! All right, well, that's really going to change the future of this uh, country. You don't future? You, who are you? you don't know anything about the future. Who are you? You know, Igor Mostakovic. It doesn't you, even oh. matter, though. Future. Do you guys know this guy? You don't understand the future. There, no one here can understand the future. I understand the future. I've been publishing all me. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. You don't know. Don't try and pretend that you do. So why are you here besides ranting about the future? Well, I don't know if you've seen the Time Blast of 3000 EX. Yeah, I was wondering what that thing I is. I won major awards. I built this thing, and I brought it for a Ms. Carly Obama. Carly Obama, who's that? Well, she's not you, Ms. I need a good and experienced co-host. That's not you. I, I... That would be Ms. Cassio Harris, sir. Yeah, so... You don't need to ask any more questions, all right? You're making the scientists very mad. So, just stop. Oh, so you're one of those mad scientists. Well, I'm kind of angry, if that's what you mean. I have a bi-monthly column. You don't know. I know. The future... You don't know. Terrible okay. anomalies and, and bare enzymes in their feces. Oh, yeah. It is all controlled, you don't know. You don't okay, well, I'm just kind of curious about the, uh, what is it, the Time Blaster 3000? EX. EX. Just stop worrying about it. Just stop worrying. Isn't this the cast? Isn't this the Anita Goodman experience? Why yeah, where is Anita? Where is Anita? I don't know. I don't know where Anita is. Um, you know, she, she seems to have a problem showing up. Forget this. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, does, has anyone seen Anita? She seems to have a problem with promptness. She's in the future. What's that? That's cool. 
certificate in there and I walked inside the door got shut and when I opened it up that wasn't me it wasn't so well what are you trying to say are you trying to say that to get you out of the show I got a mad scientist here how to bring his time machine I put a Ross gift certificate in it and lured you in and shut the door and sent you off to the future is that what you're trying to say because if that's what you're trying to say I have a problem with that no that sounds totally ridiculous I don't know where you get this drama from Cassie oh god all I wanted was a Ross gift certificate and I ended up you know I only how, what time is it what day is it it's all around. It's all around. Look at those. You cold in here? I'm a little cold. Yeah, it's very cold, cold in the future. In the There's an ice age in the future. Yeah. You got nipple cock. Oh my goodness gracious. The kind of treatment that I get around here. Let me put my space gun of the future over here. So, I ended up wandering into the future, and let me tell you, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful, beautiful place. Dogs and cats loving one another, birds and fishes loving one another, all kinds of crazy science fiction y stuff. It was really awesome. It is, it's somewhat improbable, but here's the thing once I got there, I was wearing my stupid 20th century clothes, so immediately people wondered what I was all about. So I had to go steal an outfit. Then once I got used to the whole thing about the future, it feels exactly like Back to the Future. It's all out of business, fast food, and weird colors and things. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, it is. It's exactly like that. So then um, it turns out that the whole place is one giant shopping mall. So I went. I got this at the outlet center on the moon. What do you think? Yeah. You know, you get in this big space elevator and it's nothing but old time pretzels and Orange Julius all the way up. <laughs> it's crazy. But, hey, you know what, Cassie? I feel, I feel a little distressed because I didn't get to have my normal introduction. Oh, we gotta do that again? It is the Anita Goodman experience after all. Woo! Okay. Can you cue the, mu uh, the music for Miss Thing's introduction, please? I'll be back here. And my keyboard needs to be turned up a little as well. It's heavy light or hair eyes. That would be track number two. 